I definitely want one day to be able to be a full-time footballer, whether it's like out locally kicking a ball with my brother or whether it's putting on an Australia jersey and going out, it's still the same feeling. I'm just excited to have a ball on my feet. 19-year-old Taj Lynch has loved football his whole life. I started playing football when I was about five. I think I just went out there wearing boots that were way too big, running around just trying to touch the ball at least once a game. Born with cerebral palsy, Taj hasn't let his disability stand in the way of his dreams. So cerebral palsy is an injury that occurs to the brain before birth. I got diagnosed at an age where I was crawling, so they didn't know if I'd ever be able to walk or talk or if I'd learn at a different rate to everyone else. So it's very much just one step at a time, finding out what you can and you can't do. Luckily, we were able to just go and try everything I wanted to do and football stuck. Taj now plays for the Pararoos. Australia's national football team for athletes with cerebral palsy, acquired brain injury or symptoms acquired from stroke. Tonight, thousands of soccer fans have come to see Australia take on Canada in an international friendly. We represent pretty much everyone um, in Australia, uh, all the ones with, with a disability, without a disability as well. But um, all the boys um, are role models to uh, kids with cerebral palsy. So for me specifically it affects my left arm and my left leg, so the muscle strength, spasticity, coordination is all slightly impaired. I mean it obviously affects things like speed, athletic ability and I guess weak foot so I don't really kick the ball too often with my left foot and when I do it's not very pretty but that's alright because hopefully I can compensate for that with the other one. David Barber has captained the Pararoos since the team was founded 21 years ago. Today is his 100th game. Some of the younger guys on this team weren't even born when you started playing with yeah. this team. Yeah. Um, what's it like being a mentor to some of those younger players? You know, they're going to experience a lot of things that we've had the, the joy and pain of going through already, so helping them understand that they're not alone. I think people enjoy the physicality and you know, they get to see the athletes giving absolutely everything they've got. 19-year-old Augustine Murphy also dreams of being a professional footballer. I started playing football when I was six years old. I'd love to play for Man United. I'll sort all their problems out. Yeah. <laughs> I had uh, epilepsy. I had seizures um, from three till when I was 13. It was scary. And it was just getting worse and worse. More frequently it was happening. In 2013, Augustine underwent brain surgery to treat his epilepsy. While the operation was successful in removing the part of the brain that caused his seizures, it left his right arm and leg very weak. I used to be right-handed, right-footed, so I'd kick with my right leg, I'd use my right hand to write, but I've had to learn to use my left foot, left hand. I've adapted well to it, um, but yeah, it's a, it's a massive challenge. But all the blokes in this team are really like driven to achieve stuff and they're hard working. Um, if you hang around like people like that, then it's only gonna bring you up. So it's, it's really good. Tonight is the team's first official match on home soil since the 2000 Sydney Paralympics, 19 years ago. Yeah! Seeing the boys there, uh, that's exactly what they deserve. They worked so extremely hard, they overcome such you know, obstacles in their life. All it is really is, uh, is either the government or a sponsor to say, okay, now we see the values in the Parus, then we can have that as a yearly event. And there it is, a homecoming to savour for Australia's Pararoos, a massive win against Canada, a record head-to-head -head result. To share this with everybody here today is incredibly special. Uh, I'm honoured, I'm very, very humbled. Australia celebrating with the fans. They've waited 19 long years for this moment to give an ovation to their team. Well, they do the country proud and, you know, they show even with disabilities that they've got uh, wonderful quality, but their mindset is, is uh, inspirational. They do uh, the badge, a lot of honour. What a match it's been, standing ovation from the home fans in the stand. I want to play another game here now. I don't want, want to wait 20 years for this again. 
Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 7.30's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.